Hello everybody, welcome back again and happy new year to every one of you. I am so excited that we finally got into the year 2021. I'm so excited guys. So let's go ahead and talk about this video. I am going to make gizzard, peppered gizzard. This is something you can use to just pick into your mouth whenever you are relaxing for the weekend. So I have ended up washing my gizzard. I have the ingredients that I'm going to use, my bear pepper, onion, green bear pepper, and my scotch bonnet. So I'm seasoning the gizzard with all-purpose seasoning and I have my, my onion and I have also the chicken bouillon. So I'm going to season everything in addition with salt and the crushed pepper. And I'm going to have them on the pot and while it cooked as it's cooking i'm going to go ahead and dice my red bell pepper and the other ingredients so this is my red pepper that i'm dicing cut it to your shape that you like Take out the seeds if you don't like to see pepper seed in your sauce. Now I'm done with the bear pepper, I'm going to dice the grain. So I will go ahead and cut it to the same size. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut uh, my onion, that is white onion. So I'm going to cut it in the size that I want, um, I like cutting. It depends on you, you can make it a smaller size, medium or a large. It does not really matter because at the end of the day, is still going to melt into the pot. Now I'm cutting the habanero or your scotch bonnet. That is very hot. <laughs> it always burns my hands. So when you are doing this, make sure you don't cut your hands. I couldn't stand it anymore. I had to take uh, a fork to hold it because that pepper is very hot. So I'm going to put this aside and check my gizzard. Now it is cooked, you know, you don't cook it for long. That took about 10 minutes. So I'm going to strain it out from the water. I'm going to separate the gizzard from the little sauce that came out from the gizzard. I'm separating it into a different bowl. So, after you finish separating the gizzard, 
from the pot you have to put it away and get your pan ready to be stir fried Heat up your pan but do not allow the oil to be really hot because you want everything to cook together. You can see that my oil is not hot and uh, I'm putting in the veg that I just diced. Put everything together and allow it to start cooking together. You start stir frying it together. You can tell that the oil is not hot. It is intentionally done. So I'm adding my gizzard into the vegetable because I want everything to cook together. The gizzard is well seasoned. You don't want to over season it or over salt it. So now I'm going to be stir frying it as the melt together as they cook together keep the frying now you can see that the heat is coming up so this is what you will keep doing till you see that the onion the pepper they are all getting diffused into the into the meat so you keep stir frying you know on a good evening like weekend this was used for the crossover into 2021 so that 31st night this is what myself and my family used to wait for the next year so you can just be picking this in your mouth with your family you know it was really tasty so this is the um the end part of it it is well cooked you can tell that the onion is melted the bell pepper the uh, green and the red you see that they are really well cooked so so thank you guys for coming along with me and i hope you all enjoyed your new year i will see you in my next video bye bye